Good morning, Floss Tube. Welcome to my channel. I am Pam. It is a nice Saturday morning. Yay, it's Saturday. Um, Saturday, October 24th. And this is day six of my trick or treat countdown where I am opening my surprises in my countdown box, my trick or treat countdown box from Black Needle Society. There were 13 gifts. Um, starting on October 19th and it ends October 31st and I am on day six and I can't wait to open my little gift and it is in the cutest little pumpkin bag. It's adorable. I love it. I can't wait to see what's inside. I don't know. Could be anything. I'm trying to save this picker. I don't know why I'm never going to reuse the bag, but here we go. Ooh, these are socks. These are. I can't get it open. This is a tricky bag. This is a tricky bag. Halloween socks. Oh, Charlie, get down. Sorry, we almost had a dog visitor there. He's very excited about the Halloween socks. These are super cute. Now I'm gonna do a little stand. I am wearing today my. Halloween leggings. Can you see them? The little witches. My Halloween socks are going to be so cute with my Halloween leggings. It's a Halloween-y sort of day. And we're not even there yet. All right, let's see what it says about these. Got to put my reading glasses on. Created by the Black Needle Society. Oh, sorry. Curated. Curated by the Black Needle Society. Keep your toes warm while you're trick-or-treating this Halloween with these jack-o'-lantern socks. So fun. That was, that made my morning. That's gonna make it easier to clean later because that's the chores for today. I've gotta clean the kitchen. Hmm. I'd rather be stitching. Speaking of stitching, um, what did I do yesterday? I worked a teeny tiny, I didn't meet my goal that I said for yesterday. I'm working on Coming to America, um, Women of the Mayflower by With Thy Needle and Thread and let me get down to the to the bottom here. I said that I wanted to have this whole ship done. This whole like piece of a ship, the bow, the stern, the port. I, <laughs> I don't know anything about ships. Okay. Um I got a little um I got a little bit of our little uh lady in there. And I got the railing up and I started on a seagull because I was already working with the white, so why not? Um, and then I got that done yesterday afternoon. And then after dinner came and I was like, I don't wanna pick it up. I'm tired of working on it. I just, I couldn't bring myself to do it. And I said to my husband, I wish that I could just stitch on something else, but what's the point? Because I only got an hour of stitching time before we, you know, go watch our shows for the night. And it seems silly to bring on another project. And he's like, well, are you going to get it done in time if you take a break for a little bit? And I said, yeah, I'm ahead of where I thought I was going to be. And he says, why don't you just take a break from it for the weekend and work on a different project this weekend? It was like a light bulb went off. He's a genius. So that's what I did. I brought out um, Night Walk Down by the Blue Flower. And I am stitching this on... 32 count vintage tarnished silver. I don't have my info with me. I think that's what it's on by Lakeside Linens. And I worked on it for a little bit last night and I'm gonna work on it today and I'm gonna work on it tomorrow and then I'll get back to the Mayflower on Monday. Um, I apologize for the wrinkles. This did not get ironed. So what did I do last night? This is where I am so far. And last night I, I worked on this, that, this little vine outline of that leaf and yeah and it was so fun and I was so glad I mean I I am loving the Mayflower piece um but it's just I've been working on it almost exclusively since September 6th and I was I needed a break um speaking on um working on things almost exclusively I, the other thing I've been working on is uh the stitching book club by Sapphire Mountain Handcrafts Frankenstein I didn't bring it out with me um, she released part four yesterday. So if you missed that, uh, look in your email. So part four is out. She released it early for those folks who wanted to have it stitched up and on the wall for Halloween. Um, I'm not one of those 
folks, I have a whole plan for a section of my wall that I want to dedicate just to stitching book club stuff. Um, so it's not holiday specific. Um, but I decided to start stitching it anyway, because again, I needed a break from the Mayflower and I didn't, I, this is a longer discussion, I think. Anyway, I thought I was going to use the, the Etoile because I had run out of the Raven. If this is the, your first video of mine, you're watching, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, I probably should have brought it over here, but I didn't. Um, anyway, the point being, I had to put it away because I hated the Etoile in the, in the border, the silvery sparkly thread. So I have ordered another skein of Raven and I, now I'm just waiting for it. So the best laid plans. Anyway, okay, that's it for me today. Sorry, that got a little bit rambly and probably didn't make sense if you've never watched any of my other videos. Um, anyway, have a great weekend. Well, have a great Saturday. I'll see you tomorrow and um, stay well. Happy stitching. Bye, everyone.